Hi, this is your host, Sonia Novik, and I invite you to pierce through the veil of what lies beyond the living into heaven. What is beyond what appears to be real? We invite you to explore with us what lies beyond this dimension and into many other dimensions. Come join us now. I was going to introduce Janine to you guys. She actually is a life coach and she specializes in coaching women all over the world and people can call her over the phone and get um, some answers from her. She basically is, yay, you can hear me now, sorry about that. She coaches women towards uh, their ultimate purpose, full of meaning and connection and with compassion. She utilizes strategies and holistic approaches in order to achieve basically uh, particular results. And she has nearly 25 years experience in the uh, working with people uh, actually in this kind of profession. So uh, she provides coaching sessions via the telephone and our guest is now being connected. Woohoo! <laughs> now that I got sound back on. Um, she has a, both a bachelor's and a master's degree in clinical, social, and uh, work and doctor in life coaching graduation, summa cum laude. And the breadth of her career has been uh, incorporated many aspects of clinical work with children and adults in a wide variety of settings. And uh, she's no longer practice, practicing psychotherapy as uh, she is now coach full time for people and. She recently developed the Alma, uh, Alma Awareness, 21 Secret Steps to Divine uh, Solutions. This is an option for, uh, for e-course, men and women, curriculum for coaches working with groups of individual coaches. So, she is here now. Hey, Janine, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? And I can't hear her at all. <laughs> can't hear me? Okay. Oh, my goodness. There we go. I am sorry. I'm, I'm having technical issues today. It happens. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Good. I'm excited to be here. This is exciting technology to utilize the media cam and do radio. I think that's Isn't that awesome. Very exciting. It is awesome. So I just gave you a really big introduction. So tell us a little bit about you, Janine. What are you up to right now? Uh, what do you do when you work with clients? How long do you work with them? Et well, cetera. I work with women around the world. Okay. So I have women clients all over the world. And I work with them on the phone or via Skype. Skype is wonderful if people kind of want an in-person type session. And right. it really, I offer a free coaching session to anyone who asks, any any woman who asks, I should say. And right. I have download a free uh, consultation form. They email it back to me. And Ooh. essentially, we get started um, with a free coaching session. I offer a real session. We do usually about an hour, uh, right. depending on the person's needs. And we go from there. I've got all kinds of packages. And so really, every budget can sort of accommodate at least one of the packages. And I offer unlimited emails for all my clients as well. So I think this is a long, this is a passion that's really been long in, in development for me. I um, I was a uh, social work student and became a psychotherapist, a uh, bachelor's and master's, like you mentioned, in, in social work, and uh -huh. uh, always enjoyed working with people. And um, and so this has just been my passion, and I'm very interested in spirituality, and uh, I, I just really love the work. So I'm excited. I'm growing my business, more clients every day, and it's it's very exciting. 
So what are you finding, like, in terms of people that, that you're adding, if you like, to this whole process? What are you finding in terms of, are you finding people that are uh, feeling a little bit of the, of the compression of time? I'm just curious. <laughs> well, certainly for women, time is an issue, isn't it? I mean, for men as well. You know, most of the right. issues that I talk about with women are applicable to men as well. But certainly women, there's a lot of demands on women. So, you know, a lot of times we're raising children, we're running a business, we're expected to keep a clean house and a, and a, a darling figure and, you know, sort of keep it all together. And it's a lot. So people really are sort of really looking to make the most of the time that they have. Okay. So um, what kind of coaching do you do? Do you do, what kind of life coaching do you provide? So you can give a little bit more detail so people have an understanding of what you do. You know, I'm, I, what I offer is really a customized coaching session. And that's something I pride myself on because I've been in the people helping professions for 25 years and mm-hmm. did a lot of coach training and then got my PhD in coaching. And okay. so whatever the, the person, whatever is dictated by the person, um, if, you know, if the person is Buddhist and they want to create more balance in their life, then we're going to use a Buddhist perspective and we're going to use maybe mindfulness. We'll use different modalities that are appropriate in alignment for that person. So don't offer, if somebody's, you know, maybe not very, uh, not a very spiritual person, I'm not going to offer metaphysical modalities that are above attraction, right? So I really want to match the person to um, their needs and their strengths, because I think that's really what coaching is about. It's about, match looking at somebody's strengths and what's right. worked before and what they're interested in and and using those tools to help them re- achieve their goals whether they're la- lofty goals or simple goals some people just want to lose five pounds you know some people want to change everything in their life so it really depends on the needs of the client but i think it's important for me to match the person with the modality so you do pretty much everything. It sounds like you're, you're on all levels, coach. I do pretty much okay. everything. And, you know, I, I have all different kinds of clients with all different kinds of backgrounds from all over the world. As long as they speak English, I'm good to go. I have celebrity clients and I have, mm-hmm. you know, students. I have a lot of student clients and, and sort of everybody in between. Oh, cool. So what do you do with like your student clients? What do you mean by that? Are you teaching them to be coaches as well? Well, I actually, I do coach coaches, but when I said student, I was actually referring to uh, people that are in school, maybe they're oh, getting a bachelor's okay. degree or their master's degree or their PhD. Um, I even have clients that are getting their MD or their ND. And so um, helping people with that process, because it can be, going to school can be an arduous process and I've certainly experienced it myself. So right. uh, yeah, and uh, but also people that um, are starting off a business. Sometimes we'll do business coaching. You know, people will say, "I, I, I want to be a coach, or I've trained to be a coach, but I'm not quite clear about the marketing piece. I'm not sure what I need to do." And so I sort of help them kind of figure out a path that's going to help them to be successful. Great. So I just wanted to interrupt you for a little bit and I wanted to thank all the people that are. We're simulcasting, by the way, to Blog TV, Stickem. Uh, new media, RCRN, and My Arts for Living. So we simulcast to about five different stations at the same time. I wanted to greet everybody at those stations and let them know that oh, I have oh, Dr. Janine <laughs> here, and uh, she's talking about life coaching and, and on all kinds of levels. So this is very, very exciting, uh, Janine Austin. And you actually have you have like five or six websites, right, Janine? Well, I have a, a website, which is simply divine solutions.com, but okay. I'm on a lot of different sites. I'm, you know, of course I'm on Twitter and I'm on Facebook and I have two MySpace okay. accounts and wow. I'm also on staff at Luna Fitness in Tempe, Arizona as a consulting okay. life coach. So oh, I, great. I, yeah, and I have a YouTube channel too. So I'm all over the place, all over the cyber so, world for sure. So do you actually work in Tempe, Arizona? Is that where you live? You, you know, I, I, I live here and I do, um, you know, I do coach for that, uh, for that facility, for that spa, uh, Luna Fitness, okay. but okay. I, I, you know, where I am is, is sort of irrelevant in this modern day because certainly most of my clients don't live anywhere close to me because, right, right? because we're doing it over the phone or through Skype. So right. you're doing over and do you yeah. do any uh, teleconferencing or I should say 
video conferencing classes? Sometimes, sometimes. You know, I have to be honest though, Sonia, my real passion is one-on-one -on -one individual work with women. Okay. That's really okay. my passion. And okay. I write a lot. A lot of people, sometimes I have followers that just like to read my stuff and, and, I, and I do write a lot of blogs and I write for a lot of online magazines and I have an e-course that's called The Alma Answers, 21 Sacred Soul Steps to Divine Solutions. But really my true, true passion is working one-on-one -on -one with women. Okay. Okay. Wow. So how much of your practice would you say is women and how much of it is it men that work well, with you and maybe kids as well? I don't work with men at all. And I don't okay, work with don't. children at all. Okay. I okay. just work with women. Sometimes okay. men will purchase, you know, like I mentioned my e-course, The Alma Answers. Or a, a lot of, I have a lot of friends that follow me, uh, male friends that read my blogs and my online magazines. And I'm so excited that, you know, I get some nice feedback from them sometimes. But really, my, my client base is uh, adults, you know, women. So okay. that's my okay. population. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So for those women that are listening to this, what kind of um, suggestions, recommendations would you have for them in order for them, like if they have like a core issue, what would you suggest they start doing? Well, like, of course, reach out. I think it always helps if you have an issue that, um, that you want to tackle or maybe you haven't tackled for a long time and it's latent or it's something that been bothering you, you know, do reach out. Why not? You know, why not, for example, take the, take advantage of the free consultation. Um, there's no hard sell at the end and, um, always good to take a, a deeper look at things. I mean, certainly there's the medical metaphysical principle when two people are joined together, there's something energetically that, that happens. I think when two people say, okay, let's, let's look at what's going on and let's look at the dynamic and what are some things we can do to address this and what are you willing to do to make this happen for you and have you thought of this before or what's worked in the past and really uh, implement uh, some change. I, I, for all of my sessions, including the free consultation, I do a write-up. So I take notes for my clients and in the note I will put resources, links to articles, to videos, and so I really want people to walk away feeling like they have something tangible that they can look at or they can reflect back on. And if people are sort of my long-term clients, it's kind of nice because they can really see their progress from session to session. So that's something I offer that um, I think makes a real difference for my clients. Wow, that's awesome. So um, Coach Steve has basically put something in here and says, tell us about some of the celebrities uh, the other chat rooms may love that you have worked. Have you worked with any celebrities at <laughs> I've all? I've worked with many celebrities. Here's the tricky part. It's confidential, right? So you can't, right. I, I can't uh, divulge. I figured. <laughs> you know, here's the funny thing. You know, I love my celebrity clients, but, you know, people are people, right? right. You know, right. at the end of the day, they We're take the all... pants off. They go to the bathroom. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, it is kind of interesting and exciting. to. I'm excited to work with anybody because I just find people fascinating. But it really is true. There, there was a book written a few years ago, and I, I don't remember the title of the book, but the, the idea was that, you know, there's only sort of like eight main problems in life that people might have, you know, variation of sort of eight problems. And I thought, oh, that's really interesting. And I find in my coaching practice that that's pretty much true, that there are some core kind of issues that any, you know, that we might be dealing with at any given time, but it's sort of predictable. As human beings, we can sort of predict in this day and age, we can sort of almost predict what people's challenges might be. Like you had mentioned before, time, finding time to do things. That's a very common challenge in today's society especially for women, I think. Yeah, absolutely. No, I agree with you. Um, wow. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of interesting because, um, you know, I'm kind of walking down a different path because I'm a spiritual coach. Um, well, I do spiritual coaching too. That's like, you know, I'm sort of known for being a spiritual coach. But I would like to let people know that um, I, you know, I like to do it all. But I'm, uh, I'm sort of known for my, my Course in Miracles coaching um, and my metaphysical coaching. I'm actually, um, was written, I, I did an article for the um, Miracle Distribution Newsletter recently. That's a kind of a well-distributed A Course in Miracles center. And um, mm -hmm. so I do a lot of that kind of writing. Um, a Course in Miracles, I, Taoism, Buddhism. I'm a, medi I'm a meditator. I do Vipassana meditation myself. And so uh, I'm real committed to that. But again, I, I look at to see 
what somebody, what they are interested in. When I have somebody fill out a free consultation form, I'll ask right, them, right. what are your spiritual perspectives? So if somebody's really interested in universal law, they're interested in the law of attraction or other universal laws like the law of love, I want to take that and help them to utilize that. So if they're interested in the Hicks material or any, any other uh, spiritual books, I, I try to help them to um, put that to good use. Okay. Yeah. But that's certainly my passion is, is uh, metaphysics, particularly, of course, in miracles. So when you're talking metaphysics, exactly what are you referring to? Because, uh, I mean, of course, in miracle is only a portion of metaphysics. Not right, metaphysics. right. It's one metaphysical pathway, right? That's what I would consider that sort of metaphysical Christianity. Right. My, my doctoral program was a spiritual um, uh, life coaching kind of a program. So anything, any kind of transpersonal psychology, so it could be anything from Jungian, um, we, Jungian reference points to law of attraction, looking at Buddhism, looking at uh, any, any of the metaphysical traditions um, that are out there. And, uh, and of course, there's many different paths, but how, you know, people study avatar, they study all different kinds of um, metaphysical pathways. So, um, Anything that somebody's interested in, I will help them bring to light. And certainly, I, I read a lot, just like most of us are interested in metaphysics. I um, read a lot of, you know, Wayne Dyer and, of course, Marianne Williamson and all the wonderful writers. So sometimes we can help. Um, I can help somebody sort of pull um, some of that information from those books to kind of reinforce what they're interested in. So, so tell us a little bit about uh, Avatar. What does that mean? Oh, that's an, that's a, just a, that's just a, a pathway again. That is a um, psycho spiritual path that some people take. I'm also okay. interested in the enneagram. It's a big passion of mine, and this is a spiritually based um, personality measure that is I so valuable and so wonderful. And um, I, my mentor, Dr. Beverly Nelson down in uh, San Miguel de Allende, today, she turned me on to it and it's just been such a blessing in my life. So um, that's another spiritual, um, it's not a spiritual philosophy, but it certainly has spiritual underpinnings. And so that's another exciting um, offering. I know a lot of people are interested in the, in the Enneagram, but that's something that I like to offer people if they're interested in personality measures, you know, finding their best mate, understanding more about who they are, um, looking into maybe blind spots, you know, people kind of repeat the same patterns. So they're wondering, right. what, I keep doing the same thing. And this is just an avenue to help people look a little deep, more deeply at some of their maybe uh, subconscious motivations. Great. Well, we're going to go to commercial right now. We'll be right back. Our spiritual development is a journey that needs deep personal commitment to have a lasting impact on our lives. A high level of awareness is the beginning of all areas of success in our lives. With our spiritual house in order, our relationships, finance, and health find a powerful balance. For you, your friends, your family, there is a new online community with attainment setting tools and professional experts that can help you create your own spiritual plan and put it into practice. Listen now for the details from your radio talk show host to learn more on how to sign up. Let's talk about your future. Do you know what's in it for you? More of the same? Or how about the life you dream of? Career advancement, financial security, a healthier lifestyle, spiritual enlightenment, effective communication, and fulfilling relationships. Sometimes we must have an extra boost. Sometimes we need a breakthrough. Announcing breakthrough courses for the life that you really want to live. Well, we're back. And uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can go to beyondtheliving.info and you can find out uh, about MyRx for Living. Um, I am going to be co-teaching the class with Lily. Actually, she's going to start on 9909. The Science of Higher Purpose, and that's going to start at 9909. The radio show is going to be about three weeks before we start the actual program. So please go to either lilyfinch.com or you can go to, um, you can go to, uh, I lost it. <laughs> oh 
my God, Beyond the Living, that info, and you can get information there. So we are back, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about these uh, ideograms. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, and at the same time, the question that I have for you, Janine, is if somebody's already worked through their processes and their issues, their core issues, uh, because that's the reason why patternings like that come back and we tend to repeat the same. It's like you have the same relationship and you just change the face and the person still remains the same kind of vibrational frequency and energy. Uh, what kind of methods do you have that actually support somebody in clearing that completely out of their life? Well, I think it's a process, and certainly, um, like you're suggesting, we tend to, if, if we haven't really healed something, we tend to default, especially when we're under stress, we default right. to old patterning. So I really think a lot of the work has to do with, um, you know, we can, you know, you can take different kinds of paths, but I think paths such as meditation, where you're having direct contact with the divine, and really mm -hmm. getting into alignment, I think that that can be an amazing thing. But I certainly think that at the beginning and in my all my answers, which means the soul answers, you know, the soul has the answers. Right. Uh, but I, I think awareness is always the first step, paying attention, because I think a lot of us don't pay attention. We don't pay attention to our emotions. We don't pay attention to how we're feeling. We don't mm -hmm. pay attention to our body. We don't pay attention to our env environment. So mm -hmm. I think people are really called when they're repeating patterns um, to really begin by paying attention. I think it's always a good first step is to walk, walk into awareness, really step into some awareness and really start to either journal, reflect, spend time in reflection, get coaching or all of the above, but mm -hmm. really start to get real intentional, real deliberate with looking at what's going on in your life. Because I think that's where a lot of us miss it. You know, it becomes an egregious problem down the line after we've missed all the signals and, you know, clues that, that life has given us. So right. uh, I think it's always good to begin at the beginning. Great, Janine, would you mind giving your website again? Because there's a lot of people that are going to actually download this and re-listen to it, and they're not going to be able so to look nice. at the chat room. Yes, absolutely. It's kind of a long one. It's simplydivinesolutions.com, and divine is D-I-V-I-N-E, and solutions is plural. Okay, wonderful. So how long have you been doing this this actual coaching with women now? Has it been three years, four years, five years, ten okay, years? Now, well, you know, I started as a social worker and worked as a psychotherapist. So some of the, the real higher functioning clients I would do life coaching with and to different degrees, depending on what kind of a job, because I was, I've been in that, I'm four, I just turned 44 and I started this process, you know, getting my bachelor's degree and interning with different populations when I was about uh, 19. So, you know, wow. I've been doing this sort of forever, <laughs> but right. having my own business, I think I've been doing Simply Divine Solutions, maybe three or four years now, I think four years now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in that, it, on that um, a note, how many people would you say and how did you get most of your clients? Did you get them through the internet? Did you get them through doing local events? Kind of give us a clue of how you created like the, the fire. Momentum. Yeah. <laughs> the momentum. Yes. Yeah. I hear you. Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm a busy person, as most of we women are, and I have, I have small children, so I don't really have the time to, to go and do conferences and that kind of thing. So I thought, how can I best sort of utilize what I have? And I do like to write. And so I began writing, and people started following my work. And I think that's probably how I um, first connected with a lot of people, is I just started oh, writing. And, oh, um, cool. and yeah, and that was really nice. And then I started making videos, because I thought, well, that's the YouTube age, right? And right. so I started making videos on different subjects and people started watching those, especially people that don't care to read as much and, right. um, which is fine in the soundbite world we live in. Sometimes people only have one minute, you know? And so, um, I got clients that way. And of course now what's really nice is word of mouth. Right. So that's, yeah, I, expect, that's I agree it. with you. That's what's happening with my work is all of a sudden I'm getting lots of people that have experienced the work and now the word of mouth is getting out there and that's it's the best. Really nice. Yeah. yeah, and I do a lot of radio shows and that kind of thing, and I think I've got some upcoming television um, 
uh, situations, uh, probably hopefully in September. And so, you know, I do a lot of that kind of thing. Stuff Great. that can rebroad. I can't be everywhere. So things that can be uh, rebroadcasted are always wonderful for me or, or, you know, articles because they live forever. So that's yeah. been a blessing. So, yeah. So just, let me ask you for another. Oh, that's great. Let me ask you this. Um, with the TV shows, do you have to go out of state, or is it local TV shows? No, yeah, or? I only I only do local kind of okay. local kind of things. Okay. Yeah. So okay. yeah, and and what's nice about these kinds of radio shows is that I can you know I can do them from wherever. So that's been yeah. A these are great because you can just send it to your whole database. Isn't you know? it so nice? Yeah. Yeah. It's terrific. It's, so yeah. One of one of the things that uh, Coach Steve and I have talked about many times, and he's the producer of Real Coaching Radio. Is that, you know, all the <laughs> television networks are trying to keep, catch up to this kind of technology because it's so interactive. You know, people I can chat, it. people can watch it on the TV, like when they look at us, at us on the Internet, and then sure. they can go listen to the rebroadcast and maybe little snippets of the videos, you know. So, so nice, right? Yes. And on their iPod, tell, people tell me they listen to some of my shows when they're running on the treadmill at the gym and that kind of thing, you know. So yeah, that's great, isn't it? Sometimes the technology is something I don't even understand yet, but people will tell me, oh, I saw you, you know, on my iPod or whatever. You iPod, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just got an iPod. I'm getting up to speed with all that. Yeah, a lot of people are actually um, now getting really, you know, we have a lot of people that I've brought onto the shows and, very popular shows that we've had and they actually download them to the iPod and listen to it. So that's that why I wonderful. usually say, let's go ahead and advertise your, you know, vi your website three or four times so they know where to get, go to get the information. Yeah. That's terrific. Yeah. So, so many possibilities. Yeah. That's, that's the amazing thing. So, you know, for people that are out there, the reason why I wanted you to share this, this information is because there are people out there like you, um, that are wanting to make a living at what they love to do and it would be great you know for you to give them a little bit of tips of what you've done maybe they are like you are you a single mom or are you have no. a husband no I do I, I have a husband okay so basically you guys share the responsibility of the kids hopefully yes <laughs> yes <laughs> so you get a chance to you know but for those that are maybe single moms or something like that that are you know, coaches, life coaches as well. You can give them a few tips of what to do and how you got so success successful. I think it's really important. There's a quote by Teddy Roosevelt, and I, I've always loved it. It's do what you what what you can with what you have where you are. So that's do what you can with what you have where you are. And I think we're all called to do that. You know, to make the most of our resources. Absolutely. You know, so if you have ten minutes in the evening and you want to be a, a, a motivational speaker, then set up your camera and do a, a two minute, you know, YouTube clip and post right. it, you know, get started right. somehow and just make yeah. the most of the resources that you have. And especially now that YouTube's free, you know, it's all, sure. most of this stuff is free. Yeah. And if especially you, on the internet. Diligent, if you're committed to the work and you're really serious about helping and you're really super serious about making a contribution, people will know that they, right. they they will feel the vibration of that, but they won't know it if you don't extend that. You have to get you have to put it out there. Right. So do you have a book, Janine, or not know, yet? I, I don't. You know, it's funny because you know I've been tempted to write a book. And um, I've kind of gotten on board with some other people that have written books and, and, mm -hmm. and put some, uh, you know, and contributed some information. And when I was a psychotherapist, I did write a children's book. But, um, you know, I'm really, my passion really is not to sort of have a message and to sort of say, here's my message and get on board and this is how to do it. I, I did write the All My Answers because I... I like the, um, there, there, it's a 21 step process and I liked the progression of the steps and, and, um, I was inspired to kind of do that as a, as a sort of model for, right. um, practicing spiritual health or just mental health and, and good life coaching skills, uh, are integrated throughout, but I really am interested in, in looking, we've got so much information now out there. There's so much information and I'm excited just to use what's out there because I feel like boy, there's a lot out there. And what, what feels missing for me and what I hear from my clients is they're not sure how to take this wonderful information and be pragmatic about it. They're not right. sure how to take the information and really integrate it. And so I think that that's where my, that's what I'm passionate about is really helping people. Cause I think everybody has the wisdom, right? We all, we, we, we know most of us that are on a path, we, we know a lot of this stuff, right? This oh is, yeah. 
Uh, they, these metaphysical ideas aren't, or, or uh, spiritual ideas are not foreign to us, but we may not be sure about how to really in implement them, or maybe it's easier for us to help other people do it, and we, we need some help. And so um, that's where my passion is. It's not so much to create the message, but to help people utilize the, the messages that we already have out there. Like we all know that the pr predominant message right now is about love and, and helping people let the fear and let the um, associated emotions and feelings that go along with fear fall away and really step into alignment with love. Right. And on that, we're going to go to another commercial. <laughs> Let's talk about your future. Do you know what's in it for you? More of the same? Or how about the life you dream of? Career advancement, financial security, a healthier lifestyle, spiritual enlightenment, effective communication, and fulfilling relationships. Sometimes we must have an extra boost. Sometimes we need a breakthrough. Announcing breakthrough courses for the life that you really want to live. Our spiritual development is a journey that needs deep personal commitment to have a lasting impact on our lives. A high level of awareness is the beginning of all areas of success in our lives. With our spiritual house in order, our relationships, finance, and health find a powerful balance. For you, your friends, your family, there's a new online community with attainment setting tools and professional experts that can help you create your own spiritual plan and put it into practice. Listen now for the details from your radio talk show host to learn more on how to sign up. And we're back. And you can go to, um, if you're interested in taking the course with Lily and myself, we'll start 9909 is actually when we start the first show. And three weeks later, we'll start the actual class. And it's um, the Science of Higher Purpose. Um, and that you can get on Lily Coaching, uh, lilyfinch.com, or you can go to beyondtheliving.info and get the information on it. So, Janine, we're back, and I have a couple of questions for you that I think are uh, regarding the information you were sharing with us prior to us going to commercial, and that is the way that you work with women and the way that you help them out in terms of getting them on the right path in terms of working through either some personal issues so that they can get to the relationship that they want, um, and you use a law of attraction um, and I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. I mean, there's a lot of people out there because of the secret that came out mm -hmm. and they talk about the law of attraction, but they really don't understand it. So can you give us a description of what you mean by saying the law of attraction? Well, that's just one, you know, modality that I might use. You know, some people really resonate with the law of attraction and other people don't. And mm -hmm. some people find a real distinction between the movie, The Secret, and then the um, Esther and Jerry Hicks material. The, right. The, um, right. So the Abraham so, material. The Abraham material. And so... Um, so sometimes people draw a real distinction and I think now people are kind of moving into, and it is consistent more with the Abraham material that people Absolutely. are really stepping into recognizing that it's not just about creating a bunch of material things. And I don't think that was the intention of the people that, um, created the secret movie, but sometimes that's what people have taken away. So, I agree. Right. And, and I don't think that, again, you know, Michael Beckwith and all those people, they're golden. But I think that that might have been um, a misinterpretation of the people that were viewing the movie. So I think, you know, just helping people to uh, create the vibration, if you will, of what they want to create in their life. And it's not just about material things, but about a real piece. Uh, you know, when we talk about hierarchies of emotions and feelings, 
the top of the list for the in the Abraham material is really getting to joy and love and appreciation. And so that's really, I think, what a lot of the people that study the Abraham material are wanting to create. They're wanting to reach for the higher feeling and really resonate with that. Because certainly if you're if you're feeling love and joy and, and appreciation, you don't really care whether or not you're driving a Bentley or a, you know, riding your bicycle, right? You know, you right. Know, that, that stuff almost becomes irrelevant. It's but irrelevant. Then it, and it comes to you well, anyway, so it's kind of ironic, but it, it becomes sort of less important. So that's that's something I think that people are um, still interested in and looking at um, kind of fine tuning that sort of materialistic almost mm -hmm. perception about what that's about. And right. so and then some people find the whole thing repellent and that's fine, too. <laughs> if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, find something else, you know. Right. So it sounds like you work on, you know, with many different modalities, right? I do. I do. You know what I'm real big on too, Sonia, is compassion as an idea. This is love in action and finding compassion for yourself and for other people because I think compassion is one of the greatest healers. I almost want to say the greatest healer um, that we have. And I'm, I'm very big on compassion and doing compassion exercises and really stepping into um, that love vibration to heal uh, relationships with others and heal the relationship that you have with yourself. Great. Can you give us a, a, a couple of uh, like uh, examples of compassion exercises that you do with clients? Because that, that might encourage them maybe even more to contact you. Yeah. You know, actually, I have a video um, with a compassion act, uh, exercise that's from Avatar, um, the psycho spiritual path that I had mentioned before. Essentially, mm -hmm. it says it's about getting a person. You you go through five steps, and essentially, you're saying uh, giving a statement like. Um, I am a person who, um, like other people, deserve love and forgiveness. And so you're got, kind of going through these different steps, acknowledging that you and your brother are both worthy and are both struggling with the same kinds of things. And mm -hmm. it, it's a real intent, put, putting intention on um, the desire to heal and the desire to forgive and the desire to accept both the other person and yourself. And so it, people are asked to call to mind somebody. Sometimes people would choose a difficult person, somebody that they're really angry with, or sometimes right. it's just somebody that's irritating them. And I think that's kind of a, almost a nicer place to start is just somebody that's kind of under your skin and then sort of go through a series of steps to help um, sort of remember the truth about who that person is. Because a lot of times that person that you think was so egregiously rude to you at the supermarket and they have it out for you is a person that's just having a bad day or is a person that's really struggling. And if we can sort of remember the truth of, of that, we can get beyond a lot of our sort of petty frustrations for sure. Yeah. And, and when they're deeper, what I always suggest recommend to people is that people are mirrors for ourselves. So if something really irritates there are teachers there or drives you teachers. crazy about them, then mm -hmm. that means that's a reflection of you, you know, and, and it's you're an opportunity actually seeing for healing. it. Um, yes, yes, absolutely. If they're a teacher and it's an opportunity for healing. And sometimes we can't step into forgiveness right away because, but, but I, you know, sometimes people will begin a process with me and they'll say, I'm not ready to do this work, but it's an intention I have for the future. And I always think fantastic because if you even ha are holding the intention that you want to get to forgiveness, you're not quite ready right now. Right. You're, you're on the path because you, you see where you want to go. You have your right. whole vision. And I think that that's wonderful. And I also think it's very honest of people to say, I'm not quite there yet. Or I don't, because sometimes people will step into a process and real quickly say, Oh, I forgive this person. But in fact, they haven't, they haven't done the work and they're still really angry and Absolutely. they haven't you know, gone through a process. So it's okay right. to say, you know what? I'm mad as heck at this person. Um, and sometimes I'll have people work with a blame letter or something like that, kind of an, I am mm -hmm. that kind of right. process. And I think that that's a very healing process when you look at a brother and say, I am that, you know, and step mm -hmm. into the truth that, you know, a lot of metaphysical idea, the predominant metaphysical idea in A Course in Miracles is there's only one of us here. Right. Uh, and so if we can say, I am that we can begin to sort of ease that division or that idea that we're separate from a brother. Um, and it's challenging work, you know, for all of us, right? Because we want to hold on to our petty grievances or our big grievances. But I think it's really um, work worth doing because certainly we bear the brunt of not doing the work if we don't do the work. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Actually, 
the Moses Code talks about that. So it's kind of interesting that you brought up. So they probably got that from A Course in Miracles. I am that I am. And they put a comma, you know, uh, so yes. that it's so important to do that because then what you're doing is reflecting upon another who you yes. are and that they are the same as you. There's a, there's a meditation. You can find it online. It's called So Hum, which is another way of saying I am that. But, you know, it's a So Hum, and you go into this thing, and you listen to it. It's this repetitive meditation, mm, again, with the cool. intention of connecting with your brother, aligning with the divine, aligning, remembering there's only one of us here. Some people wow. worry. They think, well, if I'm not carrying this, then who's going to police the universe? You know, if I'm not holding my grudges, then, you know, how will Janine make Nobody a needs to go. Well, nobody needs to police the universe. <laughs> it's exhausting. When we give that up, boy, we're just liberated. It makes us lighter. Crazy. We're younger. We're vibrating higher. We're more attractive. I mean, it really is sort of an ugly uh, bag of I don't know what, you know, <laughs> that we're carrying around when we're in heavy judgment. It's just not an attractive vibration, and it's just not, not the vibration all. we want to create, right? I so agree. it's better to say, oh, you know, Dr. Janine, I'm not real into her, but... I'm going to, you know, I'm going to bless her and send her on her way. It's, it's right. really liberating. It's real liberating. Well, if you live in the now moment and you stop living the past and you stop living your future, you'll find that you don't have much to be judgment, judgmental about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, exactly. it's the people that live in their past and live in the future <laughs> that end up judging all kinds of things in their life and others because they can't be in the present moment. Which is that, the power of now, right? You know, that's yes, another power you know, Totally, the totally gift. Fun. Yes. The power and what a gift, gift that is. Present. Because you only have now. You only have right now. That's right. Yeah. You do. Yeah. You truly or do. Or even anymore. if we're thinking about time in sort of um, in scientific terms, right. we can't get our mind around this, but all time is happening now. Yes. There isn't a path. There isn't a future. It's all time is happening now. We can't really understand that as human beings, but, but science bears that out. So oh, yeah. in truth, Literally, you only have right now. I mean, it's a literal fact, which is yes, fascinating. You, you only have this moment, you know, and so you, if you live in this moment right now and you don't worry about what's going to happen in two hours or two days or two months mm -hmm. and you don't worry about what's going to, what has happened to you and all the trauma, because I got to tell you, every single person that comes to this planet is unscathed from pain, sorrow, suffering, and that's why you chose to come here is to experience that amongst other beautiful things, love and joy and all those other experiences to give you discernment. So yeah. contrast, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. contrast, if you want to call it that, I call it yeah. discernment. Yeah. <laughs> You can, you can be, begin to chew. I was I gave, gave a, an example the other day. I don't know why I was into eating mushrooms that day. And I, I said, you know what? You don't know if you like shiitake mushrooms better or portobello until you try them both and say, oh, I'm leaning in this direction. You do, we, we have to learn uh, in that, that way or that's the way we've set it, set it up. Yes. So, yes. Um, But in that's every moment, we can choose love. We can choose to see the love. And I can, and I can totally um, tell people that in me now living in the present moment, not worrying about the future or the past, all kinds of amazing miracles unfold upon you because you're not stuck in that what it, what it, the shoulda, coulda, woulda of the past yeah. and of the future of what if, what if, what if this, yes. what if that, what if the other. It's like that doesn't exist in my reality. So all kinds of great things just manifest automatically for me. And I just see it as, as the moment, you know, as the now yes. moment. And you live in much more joy and you raise your frequency much higher when you do that. Right, because you're in appreciation, and appreciation is akin to love. And so right, if you're right. just appreciating each moment, and you can stay present in each moment, it's a wonderful thing. Usually people sort of default to the past, or they default to the present, depending mm -hmm. on what kind of a person they are, what kind of personality they have. Yeah. But both are a trap. You know, both really are a trap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some people say, well, I, want, I loved my past. Is it okay for me to think about it? And I think... It's okay for you to think about it, but it's, it's a very slippery slope. Ram Das wrote a book, uh, Still, Still Here, and he was talking about he had had a stroke. And right, uh, right. he said he was very tempted to, you know, like sort of live in the past with all his accolades and his mementos mm -hmm. and his articles and his awards. And what he did was he burned them. And I thought, holy smokes, I mean, there must have been just trunks of his awards and his accolades. Yeah. But he yeah. just Well, they're, they're not feeding him anything. <laughs> Yeah. So and, and he amazing, was the original um, guy that wrote you know, the book Be Here Now. The, so that's the good on him to actually and the real live his purpose and, in the and actually live. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of coaches out there that, yeah, and there's a lot of coaches out there that don't, you know, walk their talk. 
you know, so I take my hat off for him walking his talk and just letting yeah. go. You know? Well, everybody's in process, you know, some people, you know, do, do it well and some people don't and some people have good months or, you know, whatever, or I wouldn't, I won't even say good or bad, but everybody's in process with it. So everybody's in a different place, but boy, Ram Das really pulled it out of his hat with, for that one. That was really amazing. <laughs> and his friends really were appreciating him too. They said, oh, we like you so much better like this. <laughs> it's like, I got to kick out of that. <laughs> I bet they did. So on that note, we're going to have to go to commercial again. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Our spiritual development is a journey that needs deep personal commitment to have a lasting impact on our lives. A high level of awareness is the beginning of all areas of success in our lives. With our spiritual house in order, our relationships, finance, and health find a powerful balance. For you, your friends, your family, there is a new online community with attainment setting tools and professional experts that can help you create your own spiritual plan and put it into practice. Listen now for the details from your radio talk show host to learn more on how to sign up. Let's talk about your, let's talk about your future. Do you know what's in it for you? More of the same? Or how about the life you dream of? Career advancement. Financial security. A healthier lifestyle. Spiritual enlightenment. Effective communication. And fulfilling relationships. Sometimes we must have an extra boost. Sometimes we need a breakthrough. Announcing breakthrough courses for the life that you really want to live. And we're back. And if you want to check on My Rx for Living, you can actually click on here. Or you can go to Beyond the Living. Uh, there are two different separate links that you can go to, or you can go to williefinch.com. And you'll find the course that she has available on My Arts for Living that starts at 9909, actually the radio show for three weeks. And thereafter, we'll have the course. And uh, she'll be providing you with the signs, science of higher purpose. And I took her course and I'm co-teaching it with her. Um, and it is a spectacular course that really transforms lives. So I'll just put my little ad plug in there and we'll come back to Janine. Janine. Um, we have about, I'd say, 10, 11 minutes left. What else would you like to share with my audience? Uh, any tips, tools, or anything like that? You know, a lot of people come to me because they're interested in sort of clutter coaching. And by that, I mean sort of streamlining their lives, their environments, and their lives. And so that's something I'm really excited about um, because that's something that can really make a huge difference because if you sort of step into a sort of a streamlined um, living environment, you can create more energy, time, focus. Focus probably is the most important of those. Oh, um, yeah. At, right? To, to sort of, you know, get to the gym or take a yoga class. Or right. I really think for women, streamlining their environment, a lot of people are really moving into simplicity now, too, with the changes in the economy. I think oh, people yeah. are really revisiting their current lifestyles and really wonder, what is relevant, what's in service, what is adding value to my life, and what is no longer representative of how I want to live, what doesn't make sense anymore. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that the impact that it's having on women's lives when they really get deliberate and intentional about creating that kind of a, an environment, I think it can be just almost revol personally revolutionary for women. Wow. Okay. So I think that's very exciting. I mean, sometimes we can go kind of go through and do very practical things. You know, I'll mm -hmm. say to people sometimes while we're talking, grab a garbage bag and, you know, right. pull all the books off the shelf that you haven't cracked open in a year. Or, you know, they'll be in their closet and I'll say, grab everything that you don't feel good in, you mm -hmm. know. And so we'll, we'll sort of do that together. And, um, boy, it's really amazing. It really opens up flow for people you know right. some people say chi it really gets flow or chi sort of going and I've heard all kinds of miraculous stories about people who are really committed to the streamlining process about you know getting more money or just 
you know, having time to paint and suddenly they have a collection that they're willing to show whereas before they couldn't even find their paint brushes. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a really exciting, I think, um, area of focus for women. And sometimes we'll just want to get started. And so we work together. Um, it's something simple in many ways, but people have resistance to it because it, it means right. change, but it also means opportunity. Yeah, so. a lot of people have resistance to change, but you know what? Change is going to be a constant thing in this universe. It's not going to stop. <laughs> yes, and if we're going to have to change anyways, why not Why not change for the better? Why not change in a way that's going to support who you really are and what right. your best talents are and what your gifts are? You know, I say to some of my clients, I'm at midlife, so I have a lot of mid clients at midlife, and I'll say mm -hmm. to them, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but... He, the truth is, if not now, when? You know, right. I don't know. Will I have another 44 years on planet Earth? I don't know. Right. But so I'm going to make the most of it. So if I want to be a life coach, I'm going to do it. You know, right. I'm going to take advantage of every opportunity I have to connect with other women that are interested in coaching. So um, I think it's real important to get real deliberate, especially perhaps at midlife, at any time in your life. Mm -hmm. But midlife, I think it's it's sort of a... A, a very sacred and special time. Absolutely. I mean, I think, um, and then midlife, you know, I want to talk about that because midlife is so different now from what it was 100 years ago. Boy. You know, midlife, 100 years ago was you were 50 and you died. <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. So I still feel like, like I'm 22 and people, you know, occasionally a teenage boy will ask me out on a date and I just think that's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> What's possible? You know, Marianne Williamson in her latest book, um, Miracles at Midlife, I think is what it's called. But she talks about at midlife, women have 15 extra years. Now, this is not 15 extra years at the end of our lives, which is, you know, our, we are living longer. But she means, no, 15 core years, 15 years of being healthy, vibrant, young. And so I say, since we have been gifted with this amazing opportunity to have 15 more years, Let's use those 15 years wisely, you know, let's take care of our bodies, let's take care of our minds, let's take care of our spirits, let's be authentic, let's be deliberate. I think it's really important and it's, 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 you know, it's a great gift. Well, in my opinion, you know, and I have a different belief than everybody else that, you know, we get old because the rest of humanity thinks that they need to get old and that's right. Not Something we don't. There's nothing true. in our DNA, right? There's nothing in our DNA nope. that says we need to get old. Nope. So absolutely all... not. On the yeah. contrary, there was people back in sacred texts, ancient sacred texts, you know, the Bible and stuff that used to live to over a thousand years old. So as far as I'm concerned, you know, we're still children. I don't know? think we have to buy into it at all. I completely nope. agree with you, Sonia. I think it's an idea that yep. we've all friends. That we've race, all race bought passion. into. Yeah. Yep. I completely yeah. agree with you. And yeah, yeah, people ask me a lot of times, like, what you know, you look young, what do you do? And I think a lot of it is just not really buying into it, not saying, exactly. well, I'm 44 and 44 means I'm out of shape or 44 means I'm, I don't know what, you know, right. I say it means whatever you want. It, actually, it means nothing. You know, it right. really means nothing. And so right. whatever you assign to that your age is, is what it will mean for you. But Absolutely. I agree with you. It's just an idea. And I think we can, um, we can, we can shift that. We can shift that. And the other, the other yeah. idea is, which is really interesting to me, that people have bought into, is that you die, and that's another lie that we've all bought into. Well, sure, um, absolutely, right. All of this is, all this is mutable. All these are, yeah. these are just ideas. Absolutely. You know, and it's we're really we're for at choice. You know, I, I was talking with a client today, and we're talking about different spiritual modalities, and. <laughs> You know, she was talking about, you know, Byron Katie's work versus other work or whatever. And I said, you know what? These are just ideas. Choose the idea that works, supports you. Right. What idea, would, what idea do you like? They're just ideas. You know, yeah, I just don't like ideas. You can like yep. them or you don't have to like them. If they resonate, great. If it doesn't, that's okay, too. So I think these some of these ideas that we hold as true, you know, death and taxes have to be tr the truth. And they don't have to be the truth, right? Nope. Nope. <laughs> As soon as you break agreement with that reality and you break agreement with these ideas, you'll start to get younger again and you'll start to live a, di a divine life of your purpose and not have to worry about any of that stuff. And you join with other people of like mind and when two or more are gathered together with a divine idea, it's exponential. So you and I are sharing this idea. People are, that are listening, some may, agree, may be in agreement with us. So this adds momentum and energy to these 
um, ideas that are um, contrary to uh, the predominant prevailing cultural ideas about how things happen. Absolutely. But, you know, those people that rock the boat are the people that usually get us ahead. It's not yes. the people that sit back and agree with everybody else. It's the people that always go against the current, if you like, of humanity's consciousness, okay, um, of the the format of we have to have diet 100 or 150 and we have right. to pay taxes and we have to get old. When you get to a certain age, your body starts to age and get deteriorated. Absolutely. You know, those are all people that want to follow that boat, so be it, for people that Absolutely. don't. Absolutely. You know, and all Maybe of a sudden. Maybe Marianne's just shifting it. You know, she's shifting it a little yes. bit. Here, I'm going to well, get, I'm going to shift it 15 degrees, and then you and I might say, oh, let's shift it even more. So I think. Um, well, I think I if think socially we all get together and agree to that, it'll shift completely. Well, look around at some of the women that are at midlife. Holy smokes. I saw Marla yeah. Mays doing cartwheels on the beach the other day. You know, yeah. it's yeah. like, holy smokes. I mean, yeah. wonderful, wonderful, you know, and uh, I think it's, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's what you decide. And, you know, go, talking about our larger topic, you know, life coaching, you know, what our clients or what clients are, um, what they, what they choose as right. what they're going to believe in is going to make all the difference for them. You know, and if, if you're walking around carrying stuff that somebody said to you, or you don't like, or even a spiritual philosophy that you feel is not supportive, don't get to find something that works, you know? <laughs> You know, if you don't like your life coach, dump it, find a different, dump that person and find a different one. I mean, yeah. I think, it, you know, you find the path that feels resonant for you. Right. You don't have to stick with, you know, stick with the, the norm and what everybody else is saying. And what yeah, please you need to don't, do is follow, because, your, yeah. follow your purpose, follow yourself, follow your inner guidance, you know, and that's the key. Being yourself is the most, I think, one of the most valuable things. That's really what I want to bring people back to. That's why I sort of don't want to write a book. You know, right. this idea, like, here's my ideas. Well, I'm not so interested in my ideas. I'm interested in my clients' ideas and who right. they want to be and what their, um, what their uh, authentic message is and who they are. And um, I think that's more interesting to me than anything else. You know, um, uh Lindbergh, uh, Anne, Anne Morrow Lindbergh had the quote, um, that uh, uh, being inauthentic is the most exhausting thing that we can do. And I think that's certainly true. So a lot of the work that I do in life coaching is helping people find their voice, helping right. them emphasize their talents and emphasize the, the things that they love about themselves. Because the more they focus on what they love about themselves and the more they focus on their talents and what they, what's really resonant for them, the more they create that experience. So... That's what, that's what I love differently about being a life coach than a psychotherapist. On psychotherapy, we're dealing a lot with diagnoses. In life coaching, we're dealing a lot with strengths. So I, right. I really oh, that's appreciate that. Yeah. That's great. Is there anything else you want to share with people? We have a minute left. And, I would just uh, like people go to my website, download okay. a really brief free consultation form, and email it back to me. Take advantage of the free consultation I do for women because it's really part of my spiritual practice. It's something I want to do. I want to connect with you. I want to get to know as many women as I possibly can. So there's really nothing to lose. I don't do a hard sell. It's not awkward and weird at the end. So even if you're feeling like you're not sure if it's something you'd want to commit to, try it out and see if it, if it works for you. Would you mind giving out your website and then we'll close? Yes. It's, um, no, I don't mind. It's, <laughs> simplydivinesolutions.com. Great. So you can find Janine at simplydivinesolutions.com. And we're going to wrap up the show because i got to tell people about the next shows that we're going to have in the next few days. Thank, thank you, you so Janine, much, Sonia. so I much for you. having me. Yeah, I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So yeah, tomorrow, what, yeah, it, it goes very fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, we have the Susan Kindle Show, and then we have B with Business Strategies at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow as well. Tomorrow is Wednesday. And then we'll have uh, on 90909, which I'll be in Mount Shasta, celebrating with the Ascended Masters at 7.30 p.m. She'll be doing the show, and there'll be three students that'll come and talk about her show. And that'll be on 9, um, which means September 9th, 09. Uh, magical date and then uh, there's going to be at 1 p.m. on Thursday um, the how to be a radio show superstar so anybody that wants to become a radio show co-host please come to the show and thank you so much uh, my audience at all five different stations that we air to 
Um, I so appreciate you and thank you for coming to the show and we'll look forward to having you next week. Next week, I will not be here, so we'll have a rebroadcast. <laughs> but I hope everybody has a great, great week, and we'll see you the following week. I will have, actually, uh, Coots Blackston, which is a really good friend. Uh, I, I know Coot. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, he's he's going to be on my show, and he'll be here on the, um, let's see, uh, September, I guess the 15th is when oh, I have a show with Coot. So that will be very yeah. exciting to have him on the show. So thanks, everybody, and have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. everybody. Be clear, Janine. Bye. Let's talk about your future. Do you know what's in it for you? More of the same? Or how about the life you dream of? Career advancement. Financial security. A healthier lifestyle. Spiritual enlightenment, effective communication, and fulfilling relationships. Sometimes we must have an extra boost. Sometimes we need a breakthrough. Announcing Breakthrough Courses for the Life that You Really Want to Live. 